Hey, what's up, guys? It's Deathstroke Singer here with another God Eater 3 video. Now, two things to note before we start this video off. One, this gameplay is entirely from a limited time Japanese demo. Therefore, while I can, you probably cannot understand or read anything on screen. This is not something I selected. The language is not Japanese because I selected it just being a Wii. It's just a Japanese demo. Two, this video is broken up into two parts. The first part will take place entirely in the training area, where I'll give you a more in-depth look at the moves and the style of the weapon. The second part will consist of three combat missions with three different Akami using the same weapon. It's a bit more faster paced, so you can't really tell what's going on. If you want to jump straight to the gameplay, you can go ahead, I'll provide a timestamp right there on the screen, and you can skip the training area entirely if you want to do that. Other than that, here's the video. Okay, now we have the uh, Biden Edge, the new weapon to God Eater. Well, every weapon's a new weapon to me because I haven't played any of the previous God Eaters. But this is the Biden Edge, standard like kind of dual blades kind of thing, you know, dual blades, dual daggers, dual swords, whatever you want to call them. Two swords in your hand, that's what it does. And it does all the special things that you think it would do. Quick flurry of slashes with each sword. There's a little bit of burst art going there. I'm actually going to pull my camera out just a bit so you can see more of the action. Nice and fast. You can hit your dodges or whatever if you want to do that sort of thing. I think it's better if I lock on. Actually, I don't think the camera's actually going to... Yeah, it trails, but not as aggressively as it does in the, uh... Story. Or rather, on the missions. I'll unlock off of that. As soon as I remember how to. There we go. Um, so, one thing to point out, as I'm going to say with every video, and the training area that I'm in right now... I am indefinitely in the burst mode, which is something that happens when you take a nice little chomp out of the uh, origami with the predator form. You go into burst mode right there, but in training area, you're indefinitely in burst mode, so all of my burst arts, which are effects that you equip to the weapons, will be active. Uh, this particular one, there's three burst arts, one for your ground combo, one for your dodge or step attack, and then one for your jump attack. And I'll show each one of those, so you'll see them happen and I'll call them out as they happen. So, standard, stand on the ground kind of combos and hits will be just quick presses of the squares. And if you see that little slash that kind of portrays out, like, it goes a little farther than my weapon, actually. There it is, right there. It's one of my favorite ones with the sight, too. That's one of the burst arcs. Okay, so for this particular weapon, I don't think the burst art actually triggers on this dodge. Um, not exactly. I'll explain it in just a little bit. Uh, the next one we have is the jump attacks, which is squares in the air. There's about three hits, or three inputs there. And then you can finish off the slam, and then you'll see the slam burst art. Bam. A nice combust of, like, blue flame. One of my favorites from some of the slam ones. And I think that's actually, I'm gonna have to jump to the, the really cool part. The Bayon Edge is actually two weapons in one. There is this dual blade function, and then you can slam them together and turn them into a dual blade in Naginata. Really, really cool, and that's when actually the dodge attack comes into play. So if I dodge and I initiate with a triangle, you'll do a slam attack, and then you see the actual burst arc go into effect. Another cool thing about this is I'm actually going to change it back into normal form to regen my stamina at the, at the top left corner, because when you're in that knocking out of form, you cannot regen stamina, and all your attacks actually deplete stamina. They all call stamina. So you have to bounce back and forth between that. Those two forms, Team Dual Blade and a Naginata form, and then, of course, your range form that you should already be doing with your, uh, God Arc. And then this one, yeah, I have the beam, the new beam function on it. Yeah. Okay, nothing more of that. Change that back. One cool thing about this Naginata form, though, is that it has somewhat of a, I don't have the exact word, but awakening state, or I'll call it angry mode. Basically, if you hit enough attacks with it, it costs about, I think, somewhere around like a 25 in stamina. It awakens into this form. Nice, glowy, red, angry. And your attacks become, a, I can't remember if it changes any of the attacks per se, but I know it does power up your attacks. And it also increases the range of them. So I'm going to change back to it at regular length, and you'll see. Okay, yeah, it's got a little bit of range there, stuff that you expect. I'm going to hit a couple of hits. Before I run out of stamina, please. I know I'm not hitting as many as I should be. Yeah, I ran out of stamina because I wasn't hitting them actually. I was only hitting them like half of my hits. Let's try this again. I was too worried about the camera angle. There we go. 
And you see, it's much longer in length now. Much, much longer. And some of the more area moves with this thing. So I'm gonna change it back, because uh, stamina is like nearly at half already. It's gonna be a lot of dancing back and forth, but the weapon still is pretty freaking cool. I expect more people to experiment with it and learn some more moves than I'm gonna show off, and I look forward to seeing what it can possibly do. Now, I think I've gone over everything. I may have missed some stuff, but I mean, you got the general basis of it. I'll show a couple more of the burst arts off, which are. Let's see. Which is a good one for this? Uh, for the ground, I don't want to go with the fireball. I really hate seeing the fireball. Mmm. You went for the step. Oh, it's only got splash ones. I forgot. We'll go with the cross then. Um, which was a different one for the jump. And it's not many more I can show. Some of them are gonna overlap with some of the other videos, so you just have to see. I'm not gonna go through every single one, but let's see. You can't do it from that form. Your ground one is only gonna initiate from the dual blade form. And there, there's a different form or a different burst art. At least I hope they translate the burst art because I'm really sad they like translate something else in English and therefore. I'm like, yeah, use the burst art, burst art, and I'm just like, oh, just an idiot, they're called guard arts. Uh, then we have the step mo move now, so... That's what I was talking about with cross flames. Went from like that nice little splash to... Can you, can you stop doing that? So, kablam. Really cool stuff. And then we have our jump one, which I think I'm gonna have to actually switch back. I think this one I actually saw in our article was actually called a Sky Pillar or something like that. Maybe completely and absolutely wrong. Yeah, you can't initiate that from there. So that's most of the things you can be seeing. I uh, don't have. I've got very limited time with the weapons. There's a lot of weapons, and I didn't get to play the game as much because I was sick. So I'm not particularly good at any of them, but I will show you gameplay of them. So when it comes to me actually trying to chain together stuff, it's half knowledge of what I'm supposed to be doing. I expect you guys to be much better than me within maybe 30 minutes of play <laughs> when the game does launch next year. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna need some gameplay, this some actual gameplay. Now it's time for the fighting edge. Oh, baby. <laughs> This one's got a lot going on, so it's gonna be very interesting to try and actually apply a lot of the uh, mechanics or moves in an actual fight. No, let's just let's go ahead and switch up. Well, where do you think you're going? A lot of my stamina. You can't chase him down and use that. Okay, big boy, how are we doing this? Let's start things off with the B. Okay. Mmm, I was not trying to trigger that. Where were we? Beam! Circle around for a chance to get a bite out of him. That's not me. So whip around. Got me. Thank you, because I was trying to get that. Got me again. He just keeps digging. Now's the time for it. Now you're not in here. There we go. Now we got the power to form.
Uh, we got to change out soon though. Engage with me, thank you. Might want to uh, lock because he's about to do something funny. Nope, you guys got him. Get that beam in there. Yep, just burn him. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. I think everything's getting shut down a little too fast now. We're at the, we're gonna take it easy on these guys. Okay, we're gonna take it a little, little bit slower, possibly, maybe, probably not. So everything's dying super fast. These things are gonna die fast no matter what. We, we, I can't help it. The AI alone can kill these things. Alright, it's time to face the old lady. Start off just dumping everything into the reserves of the nice beam weapon I got with me. Gonna give me an opening. Here. Uh, just kind of dance, play with it a little bit. Not liking that. Stop poking me in the ankle. Ooh. I would not have made that block in time. Let's see, you want to do your dashes right now. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I was wrong. Got me there. Up, oh, time to burst. You know what? Go with the beam. Where you going? Shoo, that sweep is good. Oh, we need to chase. She's always running, so quick to run. We still got a lot more in the reserves of the OPs. Okay. Mm. Like it's time for an engage. Okay, okay, okay. Let's change back. So it's way too much stamina. something we want to play next to. Oop. Actually, wasn't gonna hit. I swear, I went easy on her. I totally did. 
That was sloppy, it's like that one. Take it by you. you. Oh, okay, you know, I was gonna go right off on you, but you know, you kinda just pushed a button there. This little this is really trying to run. There we go. Should have put my reserve in much earlier. Stop. It is me. Ooh. Whoa! That was interesting. I've, never, I've used the, I've just not used them well. Ha ha ha! Wonder if traps work in them too, because I haven't gotten around to using those either. Dang, he is really good at this with that. Just stop him? Nah, they totally. No, they did not. Ugh, he charged straight through that trap. I don't know if it works on him, but he, he totally just charged straight through it with that move. Dang, was trying to get to the hills. That was not hills. We'll go for you. Go the big boys. It's gonna be tricky using this Nagana. I can't get into that like powered up state because it costs so much stamina and there's so much risks to it. But like, ah, I can't sprint and dodge around as much because it's also stamina cost. Which means I should do it right now. <laughs> See the chance to engage. Not another time. That's right, get in that face. Ah, exhausted. But worth it. Why, well, thank you, sir. He is all over the place. doing his thing. You get anybody? I don't know how he did it. Oh, he's doing it again. Get Zeke that time. He did it. Gotta switch back. Another engaged right there. Doing his thing! Came right off the wall and got me good. Alright, got a full on beam for you, buddy. So I ain't getting nowhere near. Get 
Yep, break him down, break him down, break him down. Zeke is like super low on health. Okay, he's good. Zeke was like about to go out. It'd be the first time I see the uh, AI actually die. Or faint. I don't know what this game goes by. Yeah, get it in and knock it out in there and like make a good use of it. A little tricky. At least for what's for me. Probably could have been using it a lot better. Totally could have been using that lock on a lot more. Like, it disengages and I just completely forget about it. I'm like, okay, I gotta control the camera, I gotta control the camera. 